Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I am Butch Gamboa. Now, here is a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with a review of the best-seller mid-size SUV from Isuzu, the new 2018 MUX Blue Power, including a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world, plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the Audi Q3 and BMW X5 as they go head-to-head. -head. We'll also have the latest developments in the local auto industry, and a special feature on the possible effect of the proposed increase on XI stocks on automobiles with this week's insight from the first Vice President of Marketing Services of Mitsubishi Motors Philippines, Mr. Froy Ditian Kim. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. As a coach, you don't define yourself in terms of championships you've won. What happens beyond the trophies? You have to move forward, grow, and get better. Life is all about taking shots, and I want these kids to at least have the courage to take that shot so they can grow, learn, be compassionate, and have the heart of a champion. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road? Or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough the huh? to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Isuzu. When Isuzu Philippines first announced the arrival of the brand's Blue Power technology on their 20th anniversary celebration, many were stoked to see the MUX among the lineup that now come with this latest offering. And as if having an eco-friendly turbo diesel engine is not enough for a mid-size SUV, Isuzu also redesigned the MUX, giving it a much stronger appearance. The 2018 version of the Isuzu MUX is powered with Isuzu's new Blue Power Euro 4 diesel engine that provides 177 PS of power, which makes it 14 PS more than the current model. Meanwhile, it retains the same figures for the torque at 380 Nm. Aside from the changes that have been done under the hood, the previous 5-speed automatic has also been replaced by a 6-speed configuration. Moreover, looking at the outside of the 2018 MUX, it can be pointed out easily that the model has gotten a number of design tweaks. The grille has been restyled, the bumper has been revamped, and new by LED headlights with daytime running lamps have been added. The side profile looks the same as the current model except for the new 18-inch alloy wheels which used to be 17 inches. A 
Inside, not many changes have been done as the interior looks similar with the older models. However, the soft touch materials and the makeover that has been done with the seat design cannot be overlooked. Additionally, the 2018 MUX now features auto headlight leveling, hill descent control, and an 8 inch touchscreen entertainment system with USB link and text to speech navigation. Despite having these changes and improvements, the 2018 MUX is still equipped with electronic stability control, traction control system, anti-theft alarm system, and other Isuzu's fundamental safety features. A mid-size SUV with a bold look and an engine that promotes green technology, the Isuzu MUX 2018 is obviously up to conquer the road. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Motoring Today, the longest-running motoring program on Philippine television, now airs Sundays at 10 o'clock in the evening here on Solar Sports. Join motoring legend Ray Butch Gamboa for a full hour of the latest news and issues regarding the country's transportation and traffic management, motorsports, the auto industry, and anything and everything about motoring including vehicle maintenance and road safety. Motoring Today, your Sunday viewing habit for 30 years now, airs at 10 o'clock in the evening. Happy motoring. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road? Or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. What's your front page? This is my front page. 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 The Philippine Star. What's your front page? Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. The 2017 Auto Focus Pre Christmas Multi Brand Test Drive Festival was successfully staged once again at the MOA Concert Grounds last November 16 to 19. Considered to be the country's biggest outdoor test drive event, and following its summer edition last May, the pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive festival was once again set up to be a veritable one-stop shop for prospective car buyers and a must-visit event for die-hard car buffs. A wide range of competing standard and luxury premium models from participating exhibitors like BMW, Ford, Honda, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, and Tata showcase their latest model lineups 
and made them available for test drives. After the blessing ceremony, cocktails were served during the opening night where top executives from different automobile companies, guests and select members of the motoring media enjoyed a night of food and drinks. The multi-brand test drive festival is organized by Sunshine Television as part of its annual trilogy of automobile industry service and merit programs alongside the recently concluded Autofocus People's Choice Awards and the Autofocus Media's Choice Awards. I would like to congratulate Mr. Butch Gamboa for another successful run of the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival. And we really wanted to be part of this because we believe in the practice of making people try out the vehicles that they would like to purchase. And so this is a very good venue for us for our customers to experience sheer driving pleasure in a very controlled and very safe environment and a very conducive environment because there are also other brands here where people can really shop around and compare. I would like to congratulate Sito Butch uh, uh, for organizing uh, a tradition or for bringing back a tradition like the Christmas test drive. It has always been a good venue for us to showcase our best products in the market and uh, give uh, best discounts to our customers, particularly those customers that are looking for vehicles to buy during this season. We believe that this test drive event is a good opportunity for Mitsubishi to present its cars to the public. Right here you can see that we brought the Montero Sport, Pajero and Strada. And the public can really test and feel which uh, SUV and pickup is the best. It is very exciting for Nissan to be part of the Autofocus pre-Christmas test drive this year. It's very timely, you know, it's, it's Christmas season and a lot of motoring people or uh, customers are really shopping for what best car will suit their lifestyle or will suit their personality. So being here at the pre-Christmas test drive gives us that opportunity for Nissan to be part of their option when they're looking for a car. Meanwhile, Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated, or HARI, recently announced its Christmas treat for its loyal customers. Hyundai is making sure all bases are covered to let you score an epic home run by affording the Grand Starex, Elantra, Aeon, and Tucson models. Hyundai is giving the customers the chance to enjoy big discounts for as much as 150,000 pesos. In addition, the brand is also offering low down payment options and easy monthly payment schemes. Lastly, buying a Hyundai also comes with an exclusive membership to the One Hyundai Family, a rewards program that provides freebies, discounts, and 24-7 nationwide roadside assistance. And Hyundai Cares, the 24-7 hotline dedicated to assisting both pre-sales and after-sales inquiries or concerns. According to Hyundai, this Christmas home run promo runs up to December 31, 2017. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. combination of business and the good life. Business and Leisure now airs every Friday evening at 10 o'clock. Business and Leisure, your weekly business and lifestyle TV magazine, features the week's most interesting business developments, the movers and shakers of Philippine business. The diplomatic community and the latest in the world of leisure is hosted by Philippine star business and lifestyle columnist and veteran broadcaster Ray Butch Gamboa. Business and Leisure is all about business and the good life. It airs every Friday evening at 10 o'clock here on Solar Sports.
Occurring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just a click away. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. We'll have more news about the auto industry still up ahead. But in the meantime, here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. If you think about European cars, you would think about top-of-the-line driving technologies, powerful engine, and sheer driving pleasure. Let's find out on this week's head-to-head -head if these two European cars possess these qualifications. Both the Audi Q3 and the BMW X5 have a combination of power and efficiency right under their hoods. The Q3 is powered by a 1.4-liter TFSI engine that delivers 150 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. It is mated to a 6-speed S-Tronic dual-clutch automatic transmission for smooth and quick shifts. Meanwhile, the X5 runs with an inline 6 engine which produces 258 horsepower and 560 Newton meters of torque. Adding to the treat is the fact that it has an 8 speed automatic transmission. Now let's take a closer look at the exterior of the two mid sized SUVs. The Q3 is premium from tip to stern with its coupe like lines and the use of horizontal motifs that help emphasize its width. One can point out that it is an expressive design with the brand's trademark single-frame grille and new headlights with Xenon Plus technology and LED daytime running lights. At the back, the wraparound tailgate gives more character to the Q3. Add the undivided LED taillights which produce a sporty upscale look and you can easily say that Audi was aiming for a model that screams quality and they've accomplished it with the Q3. On the other hand, of course, the X5 carries the signature BMW design that gives it undeniable presence and distinctiveness. It features a muscular interpretation of the BMW kidney grille set within the triangle of the twin circular headlights with standard xenon lighting and front LED fog lamps. The X5's X-shaped bumper contour also marks it as an integral member of the BMW X family. Moreover, the V-spoke style 19-inch wheels give it a meaty stance. Inside, Q3 has plenty of room with high-quality workmanship and a clean ergonomic design that reinforces its premium status. It offers an all-black leather interior and comes equipped with Audi's MMI infotainment system that allows you to manage an array of systems including navigation and entertainment. Use the MMI controls, touchpad or voice control and you're set. <music> Meanwhile, elegant and cavernous, that's what the interior of the X5 looks like. There is also an impressive amount of space here with surfaces that generate vibrant contrasts adding to the fields. The X5 is equipped with a new iDrive system that features a 10.2 inch control display and a 20 gigabyte hard drive memory to store media files.
For safety and security features, both the midsize SUVs are equipped with features that ensure nothing less. The Q3 comes with a host of airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, immobilizer, and isofix. Meanwhile, the X5 is equipped with smart cruise control system and other driver assists such as reverse cameras and sensors at the front and rear. We would fully understand if you are having a hard time now deciding which European car you would love to own in the future. I can't blame you because they exactly offer all you need in a luxury mid-size SUV vehicle. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2017 Audi e-tron Sportback Concept. Watch this. Design study and technology demonstrator, electric car and power pack in the guise of a coupe. Audi presents a versatile concept car at the Auto Shanghai this spring. Powered by a 320 kilowatt electric drive, the four door Gran Turismo Audi e tron Sportback concept combines classic Audi elements with an array of trend setting details. An electrifying architecture tailored consistently to the technology and the package of the electric drive. In its consciously light colored interior, the Audi e tron Sportback concept offers a blend of functional clarity and reductive controls as a formal principle. Expansive touch-sensitive screens below the central display, on the central console, and in the door trim supply information and interact with the onboard systems. Horizontal surfaces on the dashboard and the seemingly floating center console convey a sense of open perspectives for the occupants of the four individual seats. For its drive, the e-tron Sportback uses a configuration that will also be adopted in future production Audi models with all-electric drive. One electric motor on the front axle and two on the rear power all four wheels, transforming the high-performance coupe into a quattro in typical Audi style. 320 kilowatt of power, which can even reach 370 kilowatt in the boost mode, providing a fitting level of propulsion with a sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour, a done deal in just 4.5 seconds. With a battery's energy content of 95 kilowatt hours, its range is in excess of 310 miles. We'll have more news about the automobile and its industry after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use, flexible interior for your various needs, convenient features, advanced technology, powerful engine, fuel efficient for a smooth journey, and sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. 
Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the show for the automobile enthusiast, and back to more auto industry developments. Isuzu Philippines brought its latest lineup of Blue Power Isuzu D-Max and Muex for a three-day ride and drive event in Bohol from November 8 to 10 with select members of the motoring media. The group drove the new D-Max and Muex models in a special performance and feature testing event headed by Isuzu Philippines Chief Executive Hajimi Koso. The Blue Power D-Max and Muex now carries the new Ford JJ1 TCX Euro 4 engine that can deliver up to 177 PS of power and has a maximum torque of 380 newton meters. Engineered with Blue Power technology, according to Isuzu Philippines, these models are now capable of providing maximum engine output, super fuel economy. Aside from this, due to its advanced design and technology, the engine is said to have noticeably less noise and vibrations, making its drive smoother and more comfortable. Blue Power and Bohol is uh, one of the e environmental e eco-friendly destinations. So we want to showcase that with the Blue Power engine now, we want to be part of the conservation of uh, some of the most beautiful islands in the Philippines. That's why we selected Bohol. And finally, VUS Cup Season 4 final round will take place on November 25 at Clark International Speedway in Pampanga. Participants and celebrity racers will battle it out for the last time this season as local motorsports enthusiasts will eagerly find out who will emerge as winners this year. According to Toyota Motor Philippines, the VUS Cup now in its fourth year does not only promote the versatility and sportiness of its best seller Vios, but it also relieves the motorsport scene here in the Philippines. We have a lot more about the automobile coming up. In the meantime, here's our what and where to have them for our car enthusiasts on Automart. Here now is Automart with products and services geared toward the automobile enthusiasts. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across Wide Plains, for Motul's opening year promo of greatly reduced prices. Now to now, Car Efficient Autos do not patronize just any custom shop for upgrades. 
Speedlab has been in the business of setting up and sprucing cars for so long that it has become an institution in the local motoring scene. Custom-built headers, racing filters, Unichip programming and installation, dyno testing are just some of their specialties, which also include preventive maintenance solutions, overhauls, fleet maintenance, and even fuel economy testing. For your next car upgrade, check out Speed Lab located at number 11, Pagataan Street, Banaue, Quezon City. Those who have similar notable products and services that appeal to auto enthusiasts, you can have them showcased on the Autofocus Automark. For placement, just call STV at 633-4422. Automark, products and services for the automobile enthusiasts. Features of the all-new Innova. Love the journey. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Today, the longest-running motoring program on Philippine television, now airs Sundays at 10 o'clock in the evening here on Solar Sports. Join motoring legend Ray Butch Gamboa for a full hour of the latest news and issues regarding the country's transportation and traffic management, motor sports, the auto industry, and anything and everything about motoring, including vehicle maintenance and road safety. Motoring Today, your Sunday viewing habit for 30 years now, airs at 10 o'clock in the evening. Happy motoring. Welcome back to Autofocus, the electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. And up next is this edition's special feature. The proposed increase in excise tax for automobiles has the whole industry buzzing. Autofocus, as the sounding board of the automobile industry, has been fit to get the reactions of the different car companies to this tax proposal. And this week, we have Mitsubishi Motors Vice President for Marketing, Mr. Freud Dityan Kin, on their take on the new excise tax. As a brief backgrounder, the version of Congress of the new excise tax has two stages of implementation, in 2018 and second stage at the start of 2019. This version was designed apparently to cushion the impact of the bill on vehicle sales in the country. Just recently, we uh, just uh, noted that uh, the committee for the Senate has already also have uh, their own proposal. Our sense here is uh, they have only one stage. Uh, I have, actually, I have seen the, uh, the, the, the committee proposal and they've expanded the uh, levels to five from the previous four brackets. And at the same time, there's only also one um, effectivity, meaning 
uh, one implementation day. No? And uh, our sense here is, of course, given that there's a difference between the Senate and uh, Congress, there, there's going, still going to be a bicam, bilateral uh, committee meeting, to be able to sort these things. What is the proper rate? Or will, will there be really a two-tier two implementation? Like all other car companies in the country, Mitsubishi also conducted its own studies, taking the two proposed stages in its totality and the effect on their sales. If we're considering stage one and stage two together, uh, it's actually almost uh, equal based on our uh, current models. No? What we are now trying to prepare for, of course, given that this is still in the Committee of Senate, I think they, they wanted to get some uh, understanding from uh, each member or company member or each brand to be able to uh, react on, on this uh, new proposal by uh, the Senate. Since uh, probably the start of the second half, we've heard about this uh, new excise tax proposal. And uh, of course, uh, we are also looking at some uh, acceleration right now on purchases since they all know that uh, uh, by January the, this new excise tax scheme will be already implemented. So our sense, especially for the last quarter, there's, there's going to be a, a rush. And uh, of course right now we're preparing, and I think not only Mitsubishi but even the other brands are preparing that uh, they have the inventory to support the, this uh, sales acceleration. Actually, this is what all the other brands are likely to do, given the steep rise in the proposed excise tax. For the Mitsubishi brand, we asked Mr. Freud Dittian Kane what strategies they have undertaken for this planned sales acceleration, and specifically, which models are targeted. Uh, apart from this uh, external uh, rush, meaning expected sales acceleration, we are also reinforcing uh, the brand image and uh, right now, especially for Mirage, uh, since this is under the uh, government cars program, uh, we are we're pushing it to be a uh, proudly Philippine-made uh, vehicle, so at least people will be able to, uh, when they purchase the Mirage, at least they, they feel better that they are able to contribute to the economy and at the same time, uh, of course, our intention here when we are producing a measure, there's a lot of people involved, a lot of uh, companies involved, the suppliers, so eventually this will translate to overall uh, good uh, economy, no? to, because it's in totality we're considering everything. Manufacturing vehicles has a significant impact on the host country's economy, considering the numerous jobs created, the extensive supply chain involved in the manufacture and the exponential benefits not only to the community but to the whole country's economy as well. Mitsubishi has undertaken steps not only for the locally made Mirage but for their other models as well, including their best-selling Montero Sport. As Mitsubishi takes steps to prepare for the new excise tax, we ask Froy how this affects the auto industry as a whole and how Mitsubishi Morris Philippines is doing. As a whole for, for this year, of course, it's good. Uh, we may exceed even the target set by Campi because of that sales acceleration. But uh, of course, by next year, uh, depending on what will be the uh, uh, final uh, rates and final brackets uh, for the excise tax, that will probably take uh, effect for next year, of course. We feel that there's not going to be a slowdown unless there's going to be a significant increase in prices. And of course, uh, we feel the market will continue to grow in spite of this uh, new uh, or improved uh, excise tax. Uh, we're still expecting growth from 2018 onwards. No? And uh, we feel that the Philippine market, given it's more than 100 million, uh, population can can support this this uh, growth. Yeah. Well, uh, we're actually we're doing good, and uh, as this is as of uh, last month, August. I think we're better than the industry growth, uh, where we actually grew by around uh, 18 percent, and uh, I think industry is only at uh, 16 in total, uh, 16 percent. So we're 
and market share has also improved. So we're, we're, we're doing uh, great now. And in fact, uh, we feel it could have been better if not for the snags that we experienced in during the first quarter. There were some issues on LTO and uh, the seed. Uh, so we could have sold more if not for these snags. No? Of course, in, in our case, we have some um, uh, inventory short shortages also. So. According to Freud, the Montero Sport and the Mirage are doing better than expected. But there are other models which I have been carrying for over 10 years now, like the Adventure and the L300, are also doing well. Nevertheless, the company continues to be dynamic in their sales promotions. Currently, we have some uh, campaigns or promos for all models. So I, I just wanted uh, probably the, the market to visit any Mitsubishi dealer because it's really very attractive now. And right now, since I mentioned about the Excessor, probably the, the best timing is really to take advantage of these uh, promos right now for all vehicles that we have. Froy also said that there are no surprises before the year ends as far as new models are concerned. But who knows what's up their sleeve. Before the year ends, none. But we may probably have a sneak peek of what to be expected for the first quarter. As of today, nothing definite has come out of the proposed new excise taxes. But as far as Mitsubishi Motors Philippines is concerned, the sneak peek hinted at is certainly worth waiting for. We now come to the final page of our electronic magazine as we again put on the spotlight concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. This time we train the spotlight on the 2017 Chrysler Portal concept. Let's take a look. When it came to thinking about the future of family transportation, FCA US called upon the people who will own and live with such a vehicle. Millennials working inside the company's design and engineering functions to collaborate on ideas. Armed with research on what the millennial generation values and desires, the team created a forward-thinking interpretation of the fifth generation of family transportation, the Chrysler Portal concept, created by millennials for millennials. Millennials are tech-savvy, environmentally aware, and cost-conscious. To balance those needs and to be an integral part of millennials' lives, the Chrysler Portal concept is designed to maximize interior space with an impressive degree of flexibility between seating and cargo configurations to enable users to include and expand their social media communities with seamless wireless integration between the vehicle and mobile devices to take advantage of technological advances in battery electric powertrains and the growth of rapid recharging network and to deliver these capabilities in a powerful high-tech form that uses LED lighting as a key design element and not as a mere accent. Millennials have become the largest demographic. In the next 10 plus years, most will be at a point in their life where they will begin to start or will have started a family. 75% of all children will have a millennial parent and there will be 4 million more children than today. The millennial generation is defined as people born between 1982 to 2001. Millennials are seeking practical and functional products that provide both capability and a sense of personal style. They also need affordability and look to own vehicles long term. As a result, they want a vehicle that can be upgraded as their lives change, and they expect seamless integration of technology in and out of the vehicle, including to home and other devices. An all-electric vehicle, the Chrysler Portal concept is propelled by a single electric motor driving the front wheels. A lithium-ion battery pack, rated at around 100 kilowatt per hour, is integrated into the vehicle underbody, which increases structural rigidity and provides a low center of gravity, which enhances handling and ride comfort. The Chrysler Portal concept is estimated to have more than 250 miles of range on full charge.
And that's Auto Focus this week. We hope you found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.